Hey you, welcome to Travel Goals, where we help you up your travel game by giving you relevant travel tips, hacks, and information on travel destinations worldwide. When you think about Chile, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Maybe it's a picture of a majestic Andean mountain range. Or maybe you're imagining one of those impossibly blue lakes that dot the country. Or maybe you think of the beautiful beaches along its coast. Well, that's what we're here for, to help you get acquainted with everything that makes Chile so special. We're going to be taking you on an amazing journey around this amazing country and show you the 10 best places to visit. Hitting that like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel lets us know that you enjoy our videos. Tap on that bell icon and turn on notifications so that you know when new videos are out. Let's get started. Number 10. Santiago Chile's capital is a bustling metropolis with a rich history and such an exciting present. The colorful city has a lot of famous sites, such as the government palace La Moneda, the Metropolitan Park of Santiago, and the central square Plaza de Armas, and the large statue of the founder Pedro de Valdivia. For the best panoramic view of Santiago, head over to Sky Costanera. It is the highest viewpoint in Latin America. If you want a break from walking around town, take a day trip to Cajon de Maipo. It's about a two-hour drive from Santiago. It's a canyon located on the edge of the Andes Mountains. You can hike and kayak here or enjoy hot springs. Number 9. Valparaiso This port city is located on the Pacific Ocean in a bay full of color and culture. Cerro Concepcion is a great place to visit. This is one of the most beautiful areas of Valparaiso. It is beautifully situated on a hill, so you'll have a magnificent view of the city. Cerro Concepcion consists largely of Victorian houses and buildings in all colors of the rainbow, with a handful of cafes, restaurants, and bars that serve lunch, dinner, and coffee al fresco. You can hike up the hill or take a cable car, which is much easier. The elevator Ascensor Concepcion is a fun way to get to Cerro Concepcion. This elevator is the oldest in the city, dating from 1883, and it still operates today, so that's pretty unique. You can ride it up the mountain or down, depending on how you're feeling like spending your time that day. Another special attraction is the church Iglesia Matriz in the historic square Plaza Matriz. Number 8. Torres del Pain Torres del Pain is a national park in the Patagonian region of Chile, and it's one of the most beautiful places on Earth. It's home to some of the most stunning views that you will ever see, including mountains, glaciers, waterfalls, lakes rivers, and forests, all set against a gorgeous backdrop of blue skies and bright sunshine. It has over 8,000 square miles of land, and it's home to some amazing wildlife, including guanacos, nyandus, a type of ostrich, foxes, skunks, and even penguins. A day hike here is going to be one of the best ways to experience the park, and there's plenty of trails to choose from and each one leads to different areas that offer different landscape views. Some parts of the park can also be explored by horse. You can even camp overnight here if you want. The sunset views are breathtaking. And if you're looking for more of a challenging hike, try to find the Laguna Capri Trail. It's located in one of the most remote parts of the park, but it is definitely worth it. The Gray Lake is another great place to hike, especially if you want some solitude. This trail is about 6 miles long and it takes about 2 hours to complete. It's not as difficult as the Laguna Capri Trail, but it still offers beautiful views. Number 7. Atacama Desert and Salar Atacama The Atacama Desert has been called one of the driest places on Earth, but it's not the only thing that this place is known for. It's home to some of the most unexpected natural wonders that you've ever seen. You're going to find enough hot geysers to boil eggs with the water coming from them and the cacti taller than buildings here. Lakes are so salty that they support life forms that can only be found in such harsh environments. Once in a while, a special phenomenon takes place in the Atacama Desert. This is called the Desierto Florido, the Flowering Desert. When there is enough rain in a year, the Flowering Desert is visible from September to November. The south of the desert blooms beautifully and millions of colorful flowers cover the area, providing phenomenal views. You also have the El Tatio geysers here. This is a geyser field located in the Andes Mountains, the area known for its steam vents and hot springs, home to many wildlife species. Just a few miles south of San Pedro de Atacama is the world's second largest salt flat, called Salar de Atacama. 
Popular places to visit in Salar de Atacama include National Park Valle de la Luna. It's a name inspired by the lunar landscapes that you're going to find here, with strange formations of rock that look like they come from another planet. The Laguna Chaxa is an extraordinary watering hole in the middle of the salt desert. Although the area's ground is covered in salt, it's home to three of five different flamingo species, including the Chilean, Andean, and James species. Number 6. Puerto Rio Tranquilo Puerto Rio Tranquilo is the perfect place to visit if you want a relaxing and tranquil vacation. The town serves as a base for three of the most important visits along the way. These are the San Rafael Glacier, the Exploradores Glacier, and the Marble Caves. You can go on a day trip to the San Rafael Glacier. You'll board a catamaran that will sail along the San Rafael Lagoon to the glacier. You'll transfer from the catamaran about 300 meters away from the glacier into zodiacs. And then you'll be able to see incredible ice formations that make up these glaciers and learn about how they were formed and maintained in such stunningly beautiful locations. Now, if you're looking for something more adventurous, well, then you can do with a little ice trek tour on the Exploradores Glacier. And if hiking with crampons over the glacier isn't for you, then the road to Bahia Exploradores is honestly an experience in itself. Winding between impenetrable forests, hanging glaciers, and overlooks where you can view the tallest mountain in Patagonia. The marble caves are located on the edge of a lake in the rugged landscape of Patagonia. The water of the lake has made these caves in the stones. The water is mainly glacier water. This is full of minerals, giving an extra blue color to the water. The combination of the rocks makes it one of the most photogenic places in South America. The marble caverns are only accessible by water, and this can be done by boat or by kayak. Now, this trip is more than worth it. Number 5. Easter Island Easter Island is a volcanic island in the South Pacific Ocean. The island was once created by volcanic eruptions. The gigantic Ranokao crater is evidence of these eruptions. Inside the crater, you'll find a lake, but the best view is from the rim of the crater. From here, you have a view of the crater as well as the Pacific Ocean. Easter Island is home to some of Chile's most unique and mysterious attractions. First up, Ranu Raraku National Park. And this park is the best place to see giant stone shrines, the Moai. In the park, you're going to find about 400 statues. The statues have also been put back after almost all of them have been knocked over. Now, nobody knows why or by whom. The statues date from 1250 to 1500. They're believed to be the faces of the inhabitants' ancestors. All of the statues look inland to protect residents. Easter Island is known for its statues and its special landscape. But you're also going to find some special caves. The most famous caves are the Anakai Tangata and the Anakekanga. Both are close to the sea. The sunset at Anakekanga is honestly one of the most beautiful in Chile. Number 4. Lake District The Lake District is a region of Chile located in the south of the country. The area has been a popular destination for Chilean tourism since the 19th century where it began to be developed as a tourist destination. There are 12 large lakes in the district and dozens more in the landscape. Between the lakes, there are waterfalls, rivers, forests, thermal hot springs, and the Andes, including six volcanoes. Villarica being the highest at 2,847 meters and one of the most active volcanoes in Latin America. Now, the best way to see it is by car or by bike. There are many trails that you can follow depending on how long you want to spend there. You can also take advantage of other outdoor activities like hiking, horseback riding, or skiing during the winter when the snow covers everything. Number 3. Iquique Iquique is a city in northern Chile, located on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. The city boasts a mild climate and spectacular views of the ocean. It's also just a short drive away from Chile's most popular beaches, Playa Cabancha, Playa La Iquique and Playa Brava. Port of Iquique has been used as a port since the 19th century by ships traveling along South America's west coast, bringing many people to this beautiful city. In addition to beaches, there's plenty of other things that make Iquique such an awesome place for travelers. Surfing lessons for beginners or advanced surfers, paragliding lessons, sandboarding lessons, snorkeling tours, horseback riding along the beachfront, 
Hiking through arid landscapes where ghost towns have been left behind after earthquake activity caused their destruction in 1906 to 1908. In the historic city center, you can admire a lot of architecture from the 19th century. And one of the eye-catchers is the Parroquia Cathedral, with its light blue details. The most beautiful spot in town, however, is the charming Bacadano Street. This cobbled street is the beating heart of Iquique. Number 2. El Key Valley There are so many places to visit in Chile, but one of the most beautiful is El Key Valley. This valley is located in northern Chile, far from Santiago and other major cities. But you shouldn't be deterred by this, because there's a lot of things to do here. The El Key Valley is about 100 kilometers long and 20 kilometers wide. It runs north to south with mountains on either side. The landscape is typically arid, with a large percentage of agricultural land, you know, specificial wine. You can find out how they make wine at one of their many wineries throughout the region. If you don't like wine, or you want something uh, different for your trip, try taking some time off from touring by hiking through the Andes Mountains or relaxing on one of its beaches. Number 1. Lauca National Park The Lauca National Park is a great place to visit in Chile. This national park is home to some of South America's most magnificent volcanoes. And not only does it offer breathtaking views, but there's also a lot of activities available for visitors. The park consists of three main regions. The first has five lakes, two of which are saltwater, and the second features hot springs and geysers. And finally, there's a large volcanic crater that can be explored on foot or by horseback. The people who live around this area have their own unique culture that you can also learn about during your trip here, so don't forget. The best time to visit Lauca is during the summer months of December through February, when temperatures are usually above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. During these months, it's possible to see spectacular sunsets over Lake Chungara and dazzling views of Mount Perenacata from atop Cerro Chucalata. So, what are your thoughts on all these destinations? Share it with us in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this. Got a lot of content coming your way, so stay tuned. See you in the next one, and ka-chow!